So here we are at the Naples Luxury Cars headquarters, and we are getting ready to feature this 2010 Maserati Quattroporte. Nice. 186 miles an hour. Let's try it. You gonna try it? Yeah, let's try it. Wow. I think That's I'll just great, put the count. I'm just gonna mount the camera in the car and let you go on your own. Oh yeah, you scared. Though. Alrighty, where can you find yeah. this? Bring a trailer. How much? No reserve. As little as a dollar. <laughs> yep, whoever bids the most. This particular car has a little less than 25,000 miles on it. And we are getting ready to go on the test drive that Sophie's going to take me on. And I'm going to pick apart the interior as we've looked at the exterior. It's a gorgeous car. There are a couple little minor imperfections. Um, but it is, as of now, 14 years old. Beautiful interior. What do you think? I like it. I like the color. It is. It's pretty. Let me show everybody the back. Okay, so here's the good part. Good part is the seats are like brand new back here. I don't know if anybody's ever sat in them. Very, very nice. Carpet's nice. Back of the seats are in great condition. There was no kids back here kicking them, beating them up. Interior's in great condition. It wasn't beat up with sun. I don't know if that's from the tent, but I will mention the negative. This is sticky. So whoever had the front replaced, all of that, which is beautiful, looks like brand new, didn't replace the back. So you got sticky here, 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 and here. So there's a couple options. One is you can get out a similar product to nail polish, like a goof off type stuff, and clean it. And it is possible. I've done it. My daughter and I have done it on numerous cars. It just takes time because you got to clean all these areas and get all the sticky off. See all this right here? It'll come off. It'll look like brand new. But it's like a film from the heat over years that just disintegrates. And one of the complaints that people have about Maseratis, so you'll see up front that piece was replaced. But one of the biggest complaints that people have about these cars are the sticky buttons. As you can see, this is brand new. No sticky, a little bit of sticky. They didn't replace these. This whole piece was replaced here. So all these buttons normally are all sticky. This is, but this is a brand new piece. This is all brand new. This is the important part. These are easy to clean, easy to clean, not easy to clean. Because when you try to clean these, you get gunk in between the buttons and the edges. So this has all either been professionally cleaned I'm speculating it's all brand new. Uh, 24,764 miles, the TPMS tire lights on. I checked the air pressure. Air pressure is great. So it must be a sensor and we'll have that fixed before the new owner gets the car. You ready? Sounds good. Awesome. Let's go see how the performance is in this. Quattroporte. Oh, so I may lit something up in here at one point. Probably wasn't a cigarette. <laughs> I guess I should put my seatbelt on. So, some of the features. This has a only two years for the Maserati Quattroportes, and I believe that they started making these in 2004. This particular car, brand new, was between 120 and 133, yeah. $36,000. Yeah, right? And some of these only driven at 24,000 miles. Wow. Uh, clock works, stereo sounds great, uh, air conditioning is good, a lot of cool features, paperwork, books. The 11 speaker Bose stereo system sounds amazing. We'll have to try that. Yeah, unfortunately YouTube doesn't let us. Nice clean job, Kevin. Just smudges up on the windows. I love the interior. I like this 
kind of, what color is this, a camel? A camel, I would say, yeah. Okay. What kind of noise does a camel make? <laughs> I'll let you guess that one. Don't they hiss? <laughs> I think they spit. It's an angry cat. Now you just spit. Don't they spit? Here, I'll roll down your window and be a camel. No, thanks. You do it. <laughs> no, okay. you. I'll try. You gotta turn the camera around so we see you. <laughs> uh, from inside, I think the windshield looks great as far as the window tinting. Yeah. Except for I'm OCD and I would, every time I drive this car, I'd look at that. Oh. Yeah, I, I just don't look there. I, I, I can't. <laughs> I'm supposed to look far. Every time I get in this car, I look at that. You can forget the new sticker to put there. Oh, that's a good idea. Actually, that would be a great idea. Mm -hmm. Put like your uh, neighborhood sticker yeah. that you have to have on there. Yeah. I like the steering wheels in these because I like the leather, the, the, bow, the, combo. the leather on the inside, but the outside. So then this doesn't get, you know, because a lot of times steering wheels like your car gets all um, messed up. This looks so nice. It literally looks brand new. I've not ever seen one this nice. That's why I'm speculating that's brand new and that's brand new. I don't think this is cleaned because if they get cleaned, a lot of times there'll be a little bit of flaw in that area. Like this area is up here. Somebody cleaned that at one point. That's not been cleaned. It feels like it's brand new. And a lot of times these will be not sticky. They they call it gooey. Like you put your hands on it and you're like, oh, this just doesn't feel great. This car actually is in really good condition. But keep in mind the sticky is not just from heat. It's also from just breaking down over time. The Italians use some kind of weird film on top of all this material that just it's like a layer of like a layer of clear, and it just it just breaks down they all do it like um, a protector yeah it's like a protectant or something um i had numerous gran turismos and every gran turismo because they're convertibles they're even worse they're like everywhere sticky in those cars hmm. but yeah nice thing is there's a couple little things that somebody could improve on their own and make it their own who wants to buy a car that's perfect more fun Me? to buy <laughs> It's more fun to buy something you can, you know, put new wipers on it sure. and then it makes it feel like you're, it's your car. There's all these buttons up here. These aren't sticky. Uh, I don't know what this does. I'm not turning anything because I don't know what any of these buttons do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this car, this one's great. Oh, yeah, this one's great. Great condition. This one, whoever took this stuff off the dash, which was up here, stuck them up here and we're not going to take no let's not take them off because i will let the owner take them off i was worried it might peel the original okay so we'll just leave those on there for now the navigation is definitely antiquated uh i wouldn't buy this car and say oh does it have nav because this nav is not up to date it works the roads are right there comes radio but uh, definitely not, not anything impressive. I was reading about the Quattro Portes and, and I, am, I found out a lot of interesting facts. One of the things people say is they're not a great daily driver because they ride rough. I rode. Really? Yeah, I drove this the other day, and I, I think it rides fine. <laughs> yeah. This car is a forty-four hundred pound car, which is very heavy, yeah. very very heavy. I drive this every day. I know. That's that's kind of what I thought, but you know, consumer reports and reviews and automotive reviews, sure. they all say that it's got a stiff suspension. Hmm. We've driven some old cars here that we've sold that make this car feel like it's yeah. a. It's a soft pillow top. Yeah. I like how they sound. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice, nice tone to the exhaust. It's because it's that it's Ferrari V8. Yeah, it is quiet. I don't think it's rough. I guess you do I hear a little bit of road noise. I describe this car as being rough. Uh, I guess it 
is a little, I mean, if you drove an S class and then got in this, the S class is going to feel smoother if you're comparing it. Uh, they also compare it to like a Porsche Panamera. Those are a little bit. I've never driven one of those. We're actually getting one um, next week, 5,000 miles on a 2014. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be fun. I like these better because they have a V8, and the okay. pa Panamera we're getting is a twin turbo V6. I think this sounds better. Fuel mileage on this around town is like 11. On the highway, it's 18. So it's not awful, but it's not a, you know, you're not buying this car for the fuel not, mileage yeah. now. Buy a Toyota Camry. Buying this for how it sounds, how it looks, how it drives. Would you drive this car every day? I would, would definitely, you? yes. Yeah. I can't wait to hear it when you come by. Yeah. Try to go as fast as I can. Yeah. Factory windshield, Maserati. That's a good idea. I never thought of that. Put a sticker on there and cover up that little imperfection. Because yeah. the rest of it looks great. Sir. Sure, you can do this. You can do it. Okay. I can do it. <laughs> I like how quiet it is. Look at that car. Beautiful. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, right blinker works. Brake light test. What a neat looking car. Left blinker test, brake lights.
going to feature Sophie getting out of the car, shutting the door. Oh, look at that. We're going to feature Sophie getting in the car. She grabs the door handle. Oh, the door. That's cool. Oh. That easy. <laughs> wow, you're good at that. There's a light down there. Oh, there it is. my shoes. Now where? sideways <laughs> you'd have it at 8,000 rpm <laughs> there's gas in there thanks Adam oh yeah wow half a thing that's a first surprised he didn't siphon it out and put it in his <laughs> other car <laughs> <laughs> siphon it out and put it in his Kia Rio oh, goodness. Adam loves oh, Kias right. His daily driver is a Kia Rio, a little red one, two-door SUV. It's got a bent wheel on it. <laughs> no, he picked me up last night in a 2022, no, 2021 911 Turbo S convertible. I said, can we put the top up? It's freezing out. Nice. Yeah, I don't think he drives anything less than, if it's under like 60,000, he won't drive it. It's got standards. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> I think it rides good. Yeah, it's perfect. That's what this knob does. That's oh. Neat. Wow, it goes all the way back. That's nice. That's cool. It's got a lot of settings. Trunk. That's the tire. I tried to reset it, it won't reset. Your Sophie. It's a lot more fun when we have cars that we can wave next to the people and they're like giving us thumbs up this is just a black four-door sedan. sedan like that truck we're sitting in it's going <laughs> that was awful <laughs> then we get back and we smell like gas Oh, you know what we should do? I think if you hit the sport button, close the sunroof. I think if you hit the sport button, it makes the exhaust louder. That's it. tires on it too. That's good. The tires aren't cheap. Yeah. 
I didn't talk about what kind. I just love looking at all these buttons. I've cleaned so many of these over the years. It's so nice to see some that look brand new. So what year did they figure out how bad their buttons were <laughs> and changed it? The Gran Turismo is still like a 2016, 14, 15, 16. They're still like that. I don't, I don't know if they ever did. I don't know, something to do with the Italians. I don't I don't know why they didn't, you know, figure it out and stop doing it. Maybe they did. Maybe this is all new and this is a different kind of coating. Like it handled really well. If you, I mean, not that oh, you're it's awesome. taking yeah, it's on a track, like but really yeah, nice. it is I like heavy. It. I like it. Yeah, I like that feel. They say the interior is supposed to have the resemblance of a sports car. Enough, yeah. Sunset tonight. Mm -hmm. Should have left a little earlier. We could have. Yeah. I would be on the. It was a little bit late. A little. Then we had technical. An hour. An hour's a little. It wasn't an hour. I should have told you three. Let's meet at minutes. three. I, I, it's my, no, it's on me. I should have said three. We have one to do tomorrow, the Ghibli, so let's let's plan on doing it at three tomorrow. So, talk about some of the negative things. Obviously, we talked about the sticky buttons. We got that covered. Uh, the other thing that Maserati is notorious for in the Quattroportes and the Gran Turismos is the front brake squeak. And this one barely squeaks. I can hear it just a little bit. Uh, most people probably won't notice it, but it does squeak a little bit. And they all do it, even with brand new brakes. It's just the weirdest thing. You can put brand new rotors and brake pads on them and they freaking squeak. Hmm. It's, yeah, they just all do it. Every one of them. I probably had 20 Gran Turismos and every single one of them, the brakes squeak. You either got to push on them a little harder or not push as hard. I mean, it's just, it's just weird. I don't know if it has to do with the, the composition of the material and the, the brake pads. It's the rotors. I, I don't know what it is. Hmm. So, there you go. Motors are great. Very reliable, dependable. Um, there are known to have electrical issues. I've not had any. Knock on wood. I've not had any that have had electrical issues. I've actually had... I, I think these and the Gran Turismos are very reliable and, and great cars. Um... But if you read some of the reviews that some people say electrical issues. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. Everything else is pretty good. Transmissions are awesome. Um, I don't know why, but... But it's a very attractive car. It is. Yeah. Back in 2010, uh, Car Review and some other car companies rated it as the automotive automobile magazine rated it the best, the 
best car in its class. You know, um, they make three models of this: the base, the S, and the Sport GTS. And I've not ever had a base. I've had a lot of these, the Sport um, and the GTS. I don't like the GTS because it has a different transmission and you have to use the paddles because the automatic version of it just doesn't work very right. This one's got the automatic and it shifts, you know, you can just put it in drive and drive it like a normal car. I talked about the Bose stereo, you know, for 4,400 pounds and 400 horsepower at zero to 60 in 5.6 seconds. Whoa, that's yeah. fast. For a big heavy car. Yeah. And it's weird. the. I think the ads is 4.7 liter, but when I was looking online, it said 4.2 liter, but this one says 4.7. Oh, it is? So it is. On the car. What? So it must be 4.7. I don't know. It says 4.7 on the car, but everything I was reading was 4.2. I'm going to look on the Bring a Trailer ad right now. Timeout. Okay. Timeout's over. We're back. Bring a Trailer ad does say 4.7 liter, so I misspoke in the walk around by saying 4.2. That must be the base model, must be a 4.2 liter model. This is 4.7. 4.7 it is. There it is. I heard a big squeak. Hear it? A little squeak. Yeah. Road that we do think. Yeah, bumpy. Oh, there. there. We go. Hear, it? I hear it? Now. Yes, we got some brake squeak. Go right. Give it more break or less break. Where do you think the car's gonna go? Hmm. I'll say Texas. Texas. I think it's staying in Florida. Because they're not super expensive, so I think somebody here is going to buy it, and they're going to keep it here. Okay. I think it's been in Florida most of its life. That's all the car facts again. It's kind of cold. Should have wore a sweatshirt. <laughs> it's like 68. I know. Eight? Used to it being 80. Yeah. Well, maybe I should ship you back to Washington for a little bit and maybe make you appreciate the 68 no, degrees we're having. No, I appreciate it. Okay. Oh, look at that house. That looks familiar. <laughs> we're at Sophie's house. Oh, I love the brake squeak. Yes. Oh, that's, oh, that's all the way off. Well, 
that's cool. We have a uh, turn viewership. YouTube viewers. stunning car. This concludes the test drive version of the uh, 2010 Quattroporte Maserati listed on Bring a Trailer, no reserve. Yeah. Be a good bike. Yeah. Your daily driver. Yes.